Ladies and gentlemen, since you're such a special audience, yeah, I'm going to reveal for the very first time ever the real me. That's right. <clears throat> I'm actually British. <laughs> and though I dabble in clowning, I do find it so boorish, so American. <laughs> I prefer the fine arts. Henceforth, today, I am going to grace you with a reading of one of the greatest novels ever written, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Please. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, Locked just up! remember that all the people in this world have a lot of But we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. Thank you very much. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me, and also made me the victim of not a few veteran oh, balls. Now, 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 please keep it down. We've got a long way to go. Oh, the same people, just the same sort of people, the same profusion of chance. I tell you what, I tell you what, would you rather I kept reading, or do you prefer to hear the photograph record? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Are you positive? Yeah. Very well, then. Perhaps his presence gave the evening its peculiar quality for pleasantness. It stands out in my memory as these other parties that summer. Year by year, the seeds before us. <clears throat> Tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow we will run faster, stretch our arms out further, and one fine morning, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back, ceaselessly, into the past. The end.